Lake Powell had us mesmerized. We get our inspiration from places like this, but we also get inspiration from community. And community and teamwork is exactly what we needed for the challenge ahead. This is episode four of the Utah Traverse. Your mom likes it when I put on my Top Gun jacket. Ten four, we're bringing it. Bold one, this is bold two. Permission to buzz the tower. We pushed on in full bold overland stride. We were taking in the relaxing landscape, but we were trying to figure out where our next meal was coming from. Tell me uh, where we're at. Uh, we are in Cannonville, Utah. We just stopped at this Sinclair here for fuel, supplies, other things. And Tommy walked around the back of the building like Tommy does and found a barbecue food truck. So we all just ordered some barbecue and now we're about to see what these guys are all about. We refueled our bodies and chatted with the barbecue guys for a little while. Then, back to the trails. This year we made things easy on ourselves and we specifically planned a looser schedule which made more time for stopping to see things. And it's a good thing because in Utah just about everything is worth stopping for. Down in these, uh, the canyon. Um, looks like there's a couple of arches and stuff on the way up uh, that are you have marked as runarounds and it does look like we have one little bypass trail that if we want to get some more uh, difficult riding we could. And four. Alright, good copy on that. Staying on route. So we are looking for a right turn onto Cottonwood Canyon Road. Cottonwood Canyon Road. And four and I have tracking route and I've got the GPS. Roger that. A long running gag of this trip is yelling Jorge's name at any water crossing, large or small. Jorge! Yes! Jorge! This is in reference to Jorge once sinking his Jorge! truck, but that's a story for another time. Jorge! 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 When we rolled into our next campsite, we couldn't see too much of the surrounding landscape because it was dark. However, the next morning, we got to see the beautiful canyon that we were camping in, and we were mesmerized.
this is where we camped last night. Huh? Changed, everybody else is all changed and packed up. We're getting ready to leave the awesome campsite. The guys in the rovers warned us about a hill that was on our route. We thought we were well equipped enough, so we decided to press on. Decided to uh, make the hill climb with the trailer. The trailer's a little bit heavy. Good thing I had the Magnuson supercharged. I had to lock the rear for this. So we started the ascent, and uh, the ascent started to slide laterally down the hill. And when that happened, I just tromped on it and stayed with it. Um, pushed the, the tires driver side, caught some traction, and then got the trailer under it, and it walked right up. That's one of those times where you got to stay in it, and uh, Objects in motion stay in motion. If we would have stopped, that would have turned into quite the precarious situation and we probably would have had to broke out some line. So it worked. Boom. Spirits were high as we thought we had tackled the hill that the rover crew was talking about. Little did we know that the real hill was yet to come. Scott was the first one up the hill and ended up conquering it without much issue. Next on the attempt was Billy with the added weight of the CVT trailer. Yep, 10-4 cleared hot. We're rolling. All right, Jorge, let's get it on, baby. All right. Jorge! Oh, wait, we're going. condition too heavy wear okay we'll get another run at it maybe at this point we knew we were in quite a predicament Billy was pretty stuck all right Jorge you should give us another little bump yeah. we'll get that trailer we'll straight. go on three yeah. one, one. Two, three. Alright, let's try it again. I think we were off time a little bit. On three. One, two, three. Yeah, that it moved. It moved. After a few failed attempts of trying to back the trailer down the hill, we decided we had to attack the hill at face value. We were ready to put in the work. After a quick stuck assessment, we realized we were going to have to use a combination of techniques to get up this hill. Looking good, let's do a reset. You're looking real good. Looking good. Higher angle good. Your spool is now this side. Okay. So as you come up, just keep it straight. It'll work back, but you've got plenty of small room on driver. 10-4. Up here, we can do a redirect, too. I've got a kinetic strap we can add to the back end, maybe. Okay, yeah. give me a little bit of driver right. cut. Go. We're 
still stuck on this sand dune here. The guys are hiking up to see other options and stuff. Jorge and I are just chilling. I'm hydrating. Hydrating. Ourselves. Not sure I've ever been so hot in my life. Is this what heat stroke feels like? Yeah, but you have chills when you... Don't. You're gonna start having chills. Don't have chills yet. Okay. I've had probably two gallons of water since we've been out here. That's why you uh, don't have chills. So you, you're keeping your body hydrated. Yeah. So it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a little bit of slack out. During the recovery, we noticed some shock loading of the line. So we decided to utilize a kinetic strap and max tracks to mitigate the shock load. utilized our last natural recovery anchor and heat exhaustion on our minds, we decided to try something new. We brought down Scott's rig to use as an anchor point. Really good. We literally have been uh, bringing this trailer and truck up this hill all day. Uh, we came to uh, have some challenge and we are uh, <laughs> we are having it. This is awesome. Uh, oh. Hey, we got Almost eight hours trying to get this truck eight hours. up the hill. <laughs> uh, really sandy. Check the on. Check rigging. Everything looks clean. Okay. Mike, what kind of overlanding is this? Tommy, Tommy overlanding, overlanding, baby. Here you go. Where are we at right now, Bill? On a hellacious sand dune climb, man. We've been working this problem for quite some time. Uh, but keeping cool heads, we've taken the time we needed and needed the time we've uh, taken and thought about it and used our minds. That's something that I4WDTA and then uh, Overland experts always preach us, and it's true. Um, the best piece of gear out here is your mind making a good decision because things can go wrong like that. It's Murphy's Law, we'll get you every time. Finish this recovery up. Cool. We knew we were close. The team was exhausted, we were hot, we decided to muster up every last bit of energy we had and go for it. successfully got Bill's truck up the hill, but it really took a toll on us. But as it's been said before, teamwork makes the dream work. Don't forget, you know, whenever you get on the trail, it's really important that not only do you take care of the vehicles, your equipment, but you take care of all the guys that are involved as well. Uh, because those are the ones, you know, I started to go down, uh, I've got a massive headache, we've been out here in the heat of Utah, trying to stay as hydrated as possible. And uh, everybody was really good about reminding everybody, hey, drink water, hey, drink water. But, you know, you, you can only do so much when you're in the middle of the desert, so arid. So good on everybody. Let's keep going um, and let's go find some good food. Tommy Overland. All Tommy right. Overland. <laughs> we got back on track, hydrated and refueled. We needed a quick rest, but it wasn't long before we were back on the trails. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Follow me up this hill. One more climb, one more climb. There you go, keep going, power. Speed 
Yeah, hit it straight on, straight on. There you go. It's really not that bad, it's deceiving. Awesome job. After some fun, we got back on the pavement and made our way to Flagstaff to get ready for Expo. Team member Beth flew out to join us for Expo and a few of us decided to do a short hike near our campsite. So apparently there's some hiking trails up next to our KOA here. We're gonna go on a short hike. We're going there. That's a good push down, up from the KOA. <laughs> Get it down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, this is awesome. Hey guys, so we're up at Mount Elton Peak right now, which is part of the greater San Francisco Peak Range here, and we're at a fire lookout station. And I know these have been documented before, but they're just so darn cool. And coming from a military background, it's just really neat to look at the technology. So basically we're standing over a, um, an apparatus that uh, is using 1934 technology for fire spotting. So here we are guys, um, we're gonna head back down uh, the trail, the Mount Elton Trail, and then go break camp at the KOA, and uh, we're gonna head into uh, Overland Expo West. Here we go, Mike. Later on, it was time to go to Expo West, and we could not be more excited. All right, and this is Overland Expo West. We decided to put the cameras down and really be present at Expo. We had a blast teaching our classes, meeting tons of new people, and just being present for the entire event. This was our best trip yet. The Utah Traverse offered more than we bargained for, and we enjoyed ourselves exploring and coming together closer as a team. We want to thank you for joining us this season, and we hope you'll stick around for our adventures ahead, which we cannot wait for it.